This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Tuesday, December 27th, 2011. Alert! Over the past three days, numerous areas of gamma radiation were detected in Europe with iodine-131, 133, and cesium-137 being detected and reported in southern Europe on Eurodep. For more information and to check radiation levels in the U.S. and Europe, please visit FukushimaFacts.com. The following areas in Canada, the U.S. and Europe are at highest risk for potential fallout over the next 24 to 48 hours and should exercise full mitigation and avoidance of all precipitation and wind. In Canada, Rainfalls forecasted for the southern portion of British Columbia, especially around Vancouver. In Alberta, from the U.S.-Canadian border up through Edmonton. Heavier rain bands are currently on radar east of Sudbury, moving into Ottawa and Toronto over the next 24 to 36 hours. In the U.S., rainfall is forecasted for the southern coast of Alaska, all of Washington and Oregon, and the most northern part of California. Current rain-snow mix is passing through Idaho and Montana. Dense rain is currently extending from Louisiana up through the Chicago area and into northern Michigan. This entire system will be moving east over the next 36 hours. Water vapor bands are extending through the states of Louisiana, Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and Florida, placing these areas under highest risk for fallout. In Europe, rain is forecasted for southern Greece, all of Ireland, and the central UK. Rain and snow will be passing through all of Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Also, rainfall is forecasted for Poland, Belarus, and the Ukraine. The resources for today's forecast or the World Infrared Map on Eldorado.weather, Canadian Weather Radar from Environment Canada, Intellicast, the Weather Channel for Europe, and the Water Vapor Loop from the University of Washington School of Meteorology. This forecast has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Please check Fukushima Facts for links to the radiation monitors. Be safe.